Hello from Turku railway station in the southwest corner of Finland. Tonight we'll be taking one of the splendid Finnish night trains on the 14 hour journey north to Rovaniemi in Finnish Lapland. So let's go and find our train. I arrived around 30 minutes before departure and as there were no trains on the platform I went and looked at the departure board. You may notice that there's no train listed as going to Rovaniemi. That's because the sleeper part actually is a set of through coaches that will first run along Intercity 933 to Tampere and then get shunted onto Intercity 273 which will have come up from Helsinki and continue to Rovaniemi. The trip from Turku to Rovaniemi is about 885 km by train and will be done in 14 hours and 30 minutes with a maximum speed of 160 km per hour. The sleeper portion departs at 9 in the evening as part of Intercity 933 to Tampere. After arriving in Tampere, we will await the arrival of Intercity 273 from Helsinki. On arrival, we will get shunted away from Intercity 933 to 273 in order to make one combined train heading north. When that has been completed, the train will continue as a combined train all the way to Rovaniemi, stopping in cities such as Senayoki, Ulu and Kimi, before arriving in Rovaniemi at 11.13 the following day. Around 15 minutes before departure, the regular part of Intercity 933 only going to Tampere arrives, which today is formed of an SR2 locomotive and five Finnish doppeldecker Intercity carriages. The train to the left is one of the Italian-built Pendolino trains which also operates here in Finland. I have made a review of those which you can check by clicking the link in the top right corner. Around 10 minutes before departure, the sleeper portion arrives fresh from the depot. Sorry about the frame drops, it was about minus 15 degrees celsius outside. Both me and my camera were very much looking forward to getting inside some heated train carriages. Let's get on board. I will be traveling in an upper deck cabin with an in-suite shower and toilet for two people. This footage was recorded after the parting due to people were blocking the aisle and general was busy. But the cabin is located on the upper deck and your keycard will be waiting for you in the door. Before the pandemic you could end up sharing a cabin with a fellow traveler or pay a surcharge for solo occupancy. However, due to the current situation, sharing is no longer possible, and I therefore have solar occupancy for birds 205 and 206 on tonight's journey. You simply insert the keycard, and preferably the right way around, unlike what I did here. And then it just unlocks. The train ended up departing Turku around 14 minutes late due to a delay in the train formation. One thing that's cool about Finland is that most of the trains can be looked up online on a web page where you can see the delay code for why the train is late. As with the part you can see the ramps used to load cars onto train wagons. On most sleeper trains in Finland it's possible to bring your car with you on the train. This saves the hassle of dealing with a rental car company and their service hour at the destination. In addition to this, there's also a restaurant car on the train and two other classes of accommodation. A normal seated class and the cabins on the lower floor which do not have any suite bathrooms. We'll be taking a look at the rest of the train later in the journey, but for now let's check out our own cabin which we will spend the next 14 hours in. For each berth in the cabin you get a bottle of water and a towel. Instructions are written clearly in both Finnish, Swedish and English. The bed features a reading light, power socket and an alarm clock. An additional power socket is by the door. 
We'll take a look at the rest of the cabin and train later in the video, but for now I'm just gonna enjoy the ride and watch the lights come and go as we pass through the Finnish countryside to watch Tampere. Just under two hours after we left Dorco, we are approaching Tampere. This is where our sleeper carriages are surrounded onto the night train from Helsinki. The whole procedure takes about two hours. As the clock was already approaching 11 in the evening, I decided it was time to shut off the lights and see whether I wake up the next morning. After just under 9 hours of sleep I woke up while we were stopped in Oulu. The train stops here for about 30 minutes to detach some of the car carrier wagons. The delay we had picked up from Turku we caught up to during the night and we were leaving Oulu now perfectly on time. With just under 3 hours to go to Rovaniemi, it was time to get up, get a shower and head to the restaurant con for some breakfast. In the upper deck cabins the shower is in your cabin. You can just turn on the light and then you just pull the door. As you can see the shower is not visible. Simply pull the grey handle with a bit of force to reveal the shower. It will lock in place automatically. And there you have it. You will have no problem getting a decent shower, the pressure was good and the water was hot, almost as good as back in any apartment. To access the toilet again you will just have to pull down on the grey handle and then you can slide the door back. And there you have it. Time to go and check out the rest of the train and find some breakfast. Do remember your keycard, otherwise you won't be able to get into your cabin again. The door locks automatically when you close it. And do remember to turn off the light. For some reason this door just wasn't responding and then after some time it opened anyway. To the left you can see one of the showers for the people in a cabin without one. Those are located on the bottom floor. They are very similar to the one on the top floor apart from they are missing the whole shower cabin. I was very happy that this door opened with one push and didn't try to lock me in. This is just a normal seated carriage where people only travelling for portion of the journey can sit. And at the end of the carriage there's an open seating part. If you wanted to save a buck you could travel in a seated cabin like this for the entire journey. I reckon on less busy days, if you could get one of those to yourself, it wouldn't be that bad of an experience. However, if you had to share during the night, I reckon the story is different. Also, one of the captains is also dedicated to storage, so if you have like a really big suitcase, or if you're bringing your own ski to the north, you could store them in here as well. At the end there's also space for some bicycle storage. And here we have the restaurant car. I got myself a nice sandwich and some water and then just sat down and enjoyed the views.
In the Finnish restaurant cars you can find everything from fresh sandwiches to full hot dishes, all prepared on board. There's a wide selection of hot and cold drinks, and indeed something for everyone's taste. Combined with the great view of the sunrise, this is the perfect way to start your Saturday morning. Time to head back to the cabin. And on my way back I had to deal with the stupid door again. But uh, apart from that, otherwise the trains are in a very good and clean state. Fourteen hours and 885 kilometers later, we approach Rovaniemi, feeling fresh, clean and full. These night trains offer a perfect way to travel across Finland in great comfort. The Finnish night trains are truly one of the best night trains in Europe, if not the best. The cherry on top is that these trains offer outstanding value. I paid 78 euros one way for this journey, and at that kind of price you would struggle to find a hotel with similar comfort in Finland. Booking a ticket is easy, you just log on to the website, search for your journey and select the cabin you want. All available in English, Finnish and Swedish. You get a PDF which you can either print or just show on your phone. If you ever get the chance to visit Finland, you must come and take a trip on one of the night trains. With these kind of prices and the accessibility, there's no excuse not to. And traveling all the way north to Lapland above the Arctic Circle is also just an experience in itself. If you're a wheelchair user or have limited mobility, the cabin right by the door is accessible and located okay right across from the accessible toilet as well. There's truly no reason not for anyone to come on these trains. And as soon as the world opens again, I suggest you go and book a flight to Finland immediately. If you want to keep up with my travels in real time, feel free to follow me on Twitter. Thank you for watching, feel free to check out some of my other transport related videos. If you have enjoyed this video, I'd really value if you hit the subscribe button.